Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. You can probably tell from the title that this is going to be a bit of a virtual tour of Boston University. I'm currently a senior here at Boston University studying computer science with a minor in deaf studies and I just had a day off from work and I thought it'd be cool to pick up my camera with my friend Frank and just go shoot this. I know it will be pretty helpful for a lot of you freshmen and sophomores who didn't have the chance to come look at campus. So yeah, hope you guys find this video fun and helpful. All right, so we're right in front of my apartment. I got Frank here. Um, yeah, so the plan for today is we're gonna start in East Campus and work our way all the way down to West Campus and maybe even Alston. So yeah, let's just get started in West Camp- In East Campus. <laughs> I'm in Chicago, eh, hey, yeah Only hear about it, day, hey, yeah Looking at the sunroof I ain't really tripping, but I'm Yeah, we're here now. We're in East Campus. We're pretty far east. This is 100 Bay State Road. It's probably the furthest east you're gonna go unless you live in either Danielson or in... What is it called? Or in Miles. So 100 Bay State Road is where you guys are gonna have like academic advising stuff and everything. Obviously with COVID, we're not sure about that situation. The best dining hall at BU is also here. Everyone basically calls it Bay State. So with COVID, the way it's gonna work is probably most meals are gonna be just you order ahead and you get to take them out or something. They might have some seating space just for a couple students, maybe one chair per table or maybe two chairs per table. But beyond that, the point is to keep us all safe. So you might not get the full dining hall experience. In general though, hopefully when we do get back to normal at some point this dining hall is super good it's competed with like UCLA for being the best dining hall in the country and a lot of that kind of stuff so hope you guys enjoy it all right we're gonna make our way towards more central campus before we get kind of to west BU is basically like a mile and a half to two mile just strip right along the Charles River we're right across the river from MIT and Harvard so you really are super close to all these other schools as a disclaimer Frank and I aren't those people who don't know how to wear masks we just pull them down when we're about to talk so that it isn't all muffled so this long street right here is Commonwealth Avenue and as you can see the T's passing through right here so the T will take you all the way down to Boston College and this way it'll take you all the way down to downtown Boston where you can search on a different lines and just get right into the city. So right here we have the business school. You're pretty much an East Campus. So remember, if you're in Questrom, which is our business school, you might want to look for housing like either this year or next year or switch. I know it's weird with COVID, but you might want to stay closer to East Campus because this is where the majority of your classes are going to be. So now we're kind of walking to the backside of Commonwealth. So this is closer to the river. So this is closer to the river a little bit. Hello. Should I, should I tell her to come back or? <laughs> Anyways, so if you want to be near kind of East Central Campus, this is one of the really good places to go. You probably won't get this freshman year. It's not one of the big type housing. It's like small apartments and like dorms that are made like apartments, if that makes sense. While we're on the topic of housing, you guys hopefully know this already, but you should have signed up for a move-in slot because of COVID. You can sign up and adjust as late as August 14th, I believe, or you can adjust as late as August 14th, but you guys should definitely sign up now so you know and don't just come onto campus without knowing what's going on. And once you get here, you can only have one person move you in, remember that. So only you and one other person. And once you get here, if you go on BU's website, there's a whole long list of check-in locations. All you gotta do, bring your stuff, go to your check-in location, sign some stuff, get your key, and you can move right in. And it's as simple as that. All right, so we're now pretty central campus. So right behind me, we have Warren Towers. And then uh, on the other side, we have our College of Arts and Science. These are the two main buildings for a lot of freshmen. A lot of you guys are probably gonna be in College of Arts and Science, and a lot of you guys will probably live in Warren. I say normally because there's COVID right now, but normally Warren is a great place to be a freshman. So many freshmen get put there. It's right in the center of campus. You can go to class and go to sleep, then go to class and go to sleep over and over. And even at the base of Warren, there's a lot of stuff. So for example, right here, you can see there's like a Starbucks. A little far but right there and then there's a bank of america there's a basho which is a dope sushi place where you can also get boba yeah here's even more stuff so you got our convenience store you got a dunkin donuts a subway but right next to this building also is the communications building which has a really nice open area for you to just eat and relax and do stuff again covid might change this but it's super nice 
So right now I'm walking in the quad area for the College of Communication. This building right here is probably gonna have a lot of your classes if you're in COM, which is short for College of Communications. I actually hosted a radio show here for my first three years. I'm plugging WTVU Radio. It's a super cool way to get involved in radio if you love music, if you love talking about anything. The radio covers so many things. If you care about sports, weather, a lot of different stuff, news, you can be at this radio station too. A big perk of BU is that you're so close to so much stuff. There's actually outside businesses all over campus. Oh. <laughs> And right on that point, it just shows that there's so much stuff on campus. For example, we're on the main road right at Central Campus. You have an Insomnia Cookies over there. You got, if you want to get your eyebrows done, you go right there. You want some, want some pizza, some murals over there. Get some flowers for, for Frank for helping me out today over there. <laughs> now we're truly like smack dab in the middle of campus. You got Marsh Chapel right there and then you have like the build lab over here, which is a really cool place if you want to just pitch your ideas, innovate stuff, and just make different concepts. Doesn't You don't have to be like an engineer or anything. It's a really cool space to check out. It's open to all students. Yeah, but let's go check out Mars Chapel. Everyone comes here to get their grad photos and stuff. This is where you're probably gonna pass a lot because you might be going from east to west or something like that. You might be going to the GSU, which we'll cover later. And here we have the iconic seal. So if you step on this seal, you're not gonna graduate in four years, supposedly. But I'm pretty sure in a rush, I've walked on it before, but yes, it is a common BU myth that if you walk on the seal, you're not gonna graduate in four years. This is very much the center of campus. You have CAS over here and you have the College of Theology and you can easily reach anywhere from here. Right on cue, we see someone with uh, taking some graduation photos. Frank thinks he knows him. Is he from BU, Frank? No. Oh, then, yeah, Probably that's not. no point, yeah. Anyways, yeah, people take a lot of their graduation photos here too. All right, right behind Marsh Chapel is this place called BU Beach. It's kind of a beach, it's on the Charles River, but it really is a good place to just relax. And with COVID, you're probably gonna have to spend a lot more of your time outside, so this is probably somewhere you're gonna be a lot. As you guys can see, it's super like lush. It's really nice. When summer comes around, it gets really hot. You'll see all of the pasty, pasty students out here tanning their dad legs and all that kind of stuff right along the river. So I've sat here plenty of times when it's finally sunny out on this nice little ridge. Frank and I are probably gonna chill here for a little bit before we move on. We've been walking quite a bit. I'm pretty sure that right there is Harvard's boathouse, either Harvard or MIT, I'm not really sure. And there's a lot of cool stuff you can do on the river. And this leads right onto the Esplanade, which is a super pretty area that you can just kind of relax on. There's piers, there's people running there. A lot of good outdoor space, especially given COVID. Alright, so now we're at the George Sherman Union, which is another big piece of Central Campus that you'll probably hear a lot. It's basically the center for student activities. The thing that sucks is with COVID, we don't really know what the situation is going to be like. But inside of here, you're going to have a lot of events hosted. This is also a super good place to use your dining points. Inside of this area, there's a whole kind of food court area. There's like a Panda Express, there's sushi, there's a ton of good stuff in there. The library is also in this building. So it really is the center of all student activity on campus. Throughout your four years, you're probably gonna get to know this space really, really well. So now we're entering what I really count as West Campus. This is one of my favorite buildings. This is the new Howard Thurman Center. Like I said before, I wasn't kidding when I said the T runs straight through BU. As you can see, there's stops all along this. And while we're in this zoomed in mode, that is the College of Fine Arts over here. So if you're an art student, you'll probably be familiar with that. And yeah, let's keep going down the rest of campus and seeing what there is. Like I mentioned before, so much stuff is integrated right onto campus. For example, I just passed the Target and like an Amazon store as well as a Starbucks. So when you're on campus here, there's so many businesses all over because you are so close to the city. So it's really easy to just get your stuff done. It doesn't feel like you have to leave campus to go do something productive. 
So perfect timing, but right there, you can see the BU bus. So the BU bus is a free mode of transportation for BU students. It takes you all throughout campus. There's even an app that lets you know whether a bus is close to you or not. It's like the BU mobile app, I think. Say you live in West and you have a class in East Campus, check your app in the morning, see it's gonna get there in about 20 minutes, get ready and just hop on the bus and head to class. We cross the street and right now we're walking right up against the BU Fitness and Recreation Center. So this is the gym. This has five floors. It has like seven basketball courts, a lot of, I think, racquetball or squash. I don't really know the difference. It has an Olympic sized swimming pool. It has a lot of different facilities and it's really state of the art and it's really nice. I'll try and get some, well, we'll go up to the wall and see if we can get some, get something. All right, let's keep going. And right here, if you guys love hockey, you probably already know what this is. This is a Gannis Arena. I personally didn't know this when I first came here, but BU has an incredible hockey team. This is the arena that they play in. It's always a super fun time. The student section is always crazy. Even though we don't have like a football team or anything, a lot of BU's pride comes from our hockey team and it's always a fun time to go watch. So Frank and I just pulled up to Nickerson Field, which if you can tell is like a really nice space. A lot of people come here to work out right now. Um, I'm sure during the year people will too. If you can see here too, these are the three West Campus Towers, which is another really good spot for freshmen. The reason I say that is because a lot of freshmen like Warren Towers get put in here and it's just really good for bonding. Everyone kind of knows that you're freshmen. The RAs know that you're freshmen, so they work really hard to create a good community. And I still talk to some of the people on my floor from freshman year. There's a dining hall on the first floor of two of these buildings. It's actually connected. It's really nice to just finish class. You guys are kind of far from campus if you're on West Campus, but you can come back here grab some food and just go straight up to your room, especially when winter comes around. It's so nice to not have to go outside and do all that. So we're just gonna relax here for a little bit. We're probably gonna go into Alston, which is not technically on campus, but it's right next door and there's a lot of good food right after this. So yeah, see you then. Yeah.